The long and storied history of the St. Joseph's Stockyards has entered its final chapter. After more than a century, the sale of the stockyards is final and the doors will soon be closing for good. KQ2's Mitchell Riberall with more on why the sale is going once, going twice, sold. After more than 100 years of operations, the St. Joseph Stockyards will close. It's tough. It's a tough decision on my part. I mean, you know, we've been here for 100 and some years, and I've been here for 30 myself, and most of my staff has been here that long or longer, so it's tough. A St. Joseph staple for more than a century. Osborne Auction House owner Daniel Froman says he, along with many others, cherished childhood memories from the stockyards. From the time I was five to 10 or 12 years old, we would walk the pens. I'd walk with my grandfather and he would buy, you know, different cattle out of each pen. And even remembers how popular it was. I can kind of remember when it was huge down there and they covered you know, a lot of acres when uh, there was cattle just from everywhere and cattle coming in on on the trades and uh, by truck. Mark Cervais has owned the stockyards since 2012, but with the land becoming more valuable, he says multiple factors have now led to the decision to sell. I mean, it gets harder to do business here in St. Joe with uh, all the new uh, EPA regulations. So it makes it tougher there for expense wise. And then our staff's I got seven or eight guys that are in their 70s, so just a uh, combined uh, reasoning. And for St. Joseph, it does not look like there will be another stockyards in the town in the near future. I don't think there's probably any possibility for one right here in the city limits. It makes it tough to do it here now. But The final sale will be on May 19th, and once it's gone, many will miss it as it's created so many memories and connections over the years. So it's been tough. Most of our customers aren't customers in our eyes anymore. They all became friends. We've done business with them so long. It had a pretty big influence over the years, and so it'll sure be missed, you know. That's, that's for darn sure. Reporting in St. Joseph, Mitch Ribrall, KQ2 News. The final sale at the St. Joseph Stockyards will be a week from Wednesday, May 19th.